the banks of the Shenandoah in northern Virginia, 2,300 miles from the birthplace of Mara Savatrucha. Brenda Paz joined the gang when she lived in Los Angeles. I've been affiliated since I was 11 and in the gang since I was 13. She knew the rules and she died by them. Murdered at 17, pregnant with her first child. After four years in the gang, guilt drove Paz to become a police informant. When you start thinking about all the stuff you do, that makes you get your conscience. You start thinking, damn, look at all the stuff that I've done through my life for the stupid gang. It's just two letters and it doesn't mean anything. You start thinking about that. You start, your conscience starts working. You start feeling bad about stuff. That's when you become a rat. To keep their star witness alive, the FBI placed Paws in witness protection. But they couldn't protect her from herself. Instead of cutting her ties with MS, Paws invited gangsters to party with money she got from the feds. She said from the beginning when she started in the safe house that her money was coming from her father. Her, her father was providing her money for the food and the beer and stuff that they were doing and the parties. Uh, her father was the FBI. Uh, plain and simple. The story didn't hold up long. Her friends discovered a diary she kept detailing her conversations with detectives. She knew that she was in danger. We, we had given her information that she herself had been green lighted, and we proved it to her. The gang played it by the MS rulebook. First, an investigation, then a meeting to discuss her fate at a Virginia hotel. Brenda Paz was one of the main topics discussed there. The clique's doing a private investigation on whether or not she's a snitch. It was decided in that meeting it had to be done. The gang taps three of Paz's own friends to kill her. They head out on a fishing trip to rural Virginia. They see the river three turns and they're at the covered bridge in Shenandoah County. Good fishing spot maybe. Let's go check it out. Four of them walk along the banks of the Shenandoah River uh, until the trail ends. And there she's murdered. Oscar Grande and Ishmael Cisneros stabbed Brenda Paz to death. She had told them, just leave me, just leave me. They did. And she eventually died from the banks of the Shenandoah. First is God, then your mother, then your game. You live for God, you live for your mother, you die for your game. die for your gang and you kill for it even if it means murdering a friend Ismael Cisneros knows how MS membership can distort reality once you join the gang you lose all respect for life your mind closes off the rest of the world and you're capable of doing anything for the gang it's a very strange world and only those who really live through it can tell the tale Cisneros has a long time to tell his tale. He'll spend the rest of his life behind bars. What was Brenda Paz like? She was a happy girl, a good friend, someone who cared for others. And she was trying to change her life. You say she was a happy girl, but you're convicted of killing her. When you join the world of gangs, it's almost as if a curtain was placed over your eyes and you begin to live in darkness. And then there are only three roads open to you, to hospital, to jail, or to death. Neither murderer nor victim could change their path once they joined MS.
All I can say to young people is don't get caught up in the world of gangs, especially those who think there's something good in it. It's all lies. We fight to control territory that isn't ours to begin with. We cover ourselves with guns to show the world we're strong, but inside we are weak. As for me, by the time my eyes were opened, I was already in jail paying with my life. Since Brenda Paz's murder in 2003, MS-13 has grown even stronger. MS activity is rumored as far away as Spain and South America. Early efforts to stamp it out seem only to have strengthened it. Jailing teenage gangsters turns them into career criminals. Cracking down in the city pushes gangsters into the country and deporting them has helped spread the gang's reach. In September 2005, the FBI announced a coordinated effort with five countries to crack down on MS-13. A two-day sweep netted 660 arrests. We can minimize the gang violence. Having a strong suppression program, having a strong intervention and prevention program is very critical, I think, in, in controlling gangs. Brenda Paz gave the first details of how powerful MS-13 had become. She also offered a warning. It'll get worse. It'll get worse because it's going to get more structured. MS-13 is getting more organized and it has a strategy for growth. MS is recruiting in every school around here. MS recruits wherever MS is. High schools, middle schools. High schools, juvenile detentions, middle schools. Um, I've known of them as wanting to get younger kids affiliated, but by the time the kid gets to high school, the kid's going to MS, that his whole life is MS.